How's it going YouTube? Retro Prime back again. Um, just a wee update on the Commodore 64 Mini and playing um, extra games and ROMs. Um, in my last video I said that you could um, make your own disc files that contained up to 5 games depending on their size. Um, someone's just released new disc images. Um, 5 in total with 30 plus games on each plus uh, I think it's a beat em ups uh, compilation, a racing compilation and a sports compilation, that's it. Um, it's on freeze64.com where I got my uh, links for the downloads. Um, I'm sure there are other places. I'm not sure if that's the original guys that posted it, but uh, I shall link that down below in the description. And all you do is you download these 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 disk images. They're already named for you in a zip file, and you copy them onto your USB. Any USB you want. Well, except this one because it doesn't fit because it's too big, <laughs> which I found out last night. But yeah, any USB, and then you can play a range of games. That means you can play up to 30 games at a time. Um, you can do the save to the save states, but that only saves the menu or the game. So if you, if you if, if you save it on the menu and then try and load one of the games from that menu, you still need the USB plugged in. It won't just retain the whole, the whole disc's information. Which is a pain in the ass, because if it did, you'd then be able to store over 100 extra ROMs on your C64 Mini. But that's just, you know, we beggars can't be choosers. So I'll just quickly show you the, one of the menus and then go to the links, download it and start having more fun with your Commodore 64 Mini because this thing, I thought it was going to be a novelty for me because it is Commodore 64, but I've been playing it like every single spare moment I've got and just been absolutely loving it. Um, I've set it up in the bedroom now. This is my lovely bedroom. We can't really see much because uh, okay, it's my bedroom. Why would you want to? But just, yeah, it's fun. Do it, do it, do it. Right, I'll, uh, I'll show you the, um, the process of loading up the menu and just what it looks like. Now, when you switch on your C64 Mini, ensure that the USB drive is already in there. Although, I think it does register afterwards. Now, um, there's been two updates since the Mini was released. Like, firmware updates, and I think the compatibility of USB drives is getting slightly better. Don't quote me on that, I might just be making that up, but it certainly feels like it is. But when you turn on your C64 Mini, you um, just load up Alicat straight away. Um, oh, there's my wee Dizzy in the corner there. The wife made me. Um, load up Alicat, and then just exit again. Then when you go to basic, I don't know why you have to do that, that's in, instru in the instructions for getting these games to work. I don't know if it turns the memory into some sort of state that accepts the, the, the new sort of bigger uh, disk files or whatever, but it certainly works. And you type in LOAD, and then it's star this time, comma 8, comma 1. Enter, and it searches for it, then it'll quickly say uh, ready, and instead of list this time you just simply run it. It has a countdown for 7 for some reason. And then it loads to this menu where you've got, I'll just get rid of the virtual keyboard. It loads to this menu which has got 30 odd games ready to go. And you've got things like, uh, let's see, Red Max, love it, Paperboy's there somewhere, there it is. Uh, one Man and His Who, huh? maybe, maybe in his blob, no sure, Kickstart, love that game. Cliffhanger, Chucky Eggs, nice. So, yeah, and it means if you save the state to this, so you go to Save States, and then I'll do it on the end here, uh, save it. It means rather than have to go through that all again, you just load up the save state to this screen. Uh, like I said, you still have to have the, uh, the the USB in, but then it's just a case of, let's see what we'll play. Buggy Boy. Click on the game you want, it loads it like this. And then that's pretty much it, it's just ready to go. A lot of the games have this, they're hacked, so they do have like extra lives and things like that. Uh, intro by Jack Alien, or remember? We do. Now if I remember, haha, uh, you have to press run stop on this. There we go. Sorry, I know, I'm just using my camera, hello, to record this. Um, I'm not really one for like <laughs> capturing devices and stuff. Uh, I wish I was, but I'm not that technically minded. Um, yeah, and then simply just load the game and play it. That's it. No more complicated than that. Um, like I said, the link to the ROMs will be down below. Um, they're so easy, instructions are all there. Just do it and then you're going to have much more fun with your, your Commodore 64 Mini. Um, they've also got fixes. Um, some of the ROMs I've been putting on. Um, unlimited time, yes, why not? Uh, no collision obstacles, no. Um, some of the games I've been playing don't have Two player support, so it'll, it'll say like insert joystick two, or or when you try and load up the game, you just can't the joystick didn't work. And um, games like Bruce Lee and things like that, I can't remember. It. Ghostbusters do not work because of the joystick. But in that link that I'm going to send you, there are ROMs that have been fixed so that it can work with your with your joystick and stuff. 
So uh, yeah, I'm going to play this now actually. I uh, hope that helped. Uh, come on, let's have more fun with our C64 Mini. This is the best thing ever. Oh, I put it on high dead early there. I love this game. <laughs>